if I took out this is again my uh, now coffee stained NFL schedule booklet <laughs> from NFL Network Research. That's an unfortunate thing to have. Uh, thankfully, TJ, uh, you, you laminated the other yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, schedule that's somewhere in my system over here. But the reason why I bring this up is the number of times that somebody's taking on the Tennessee Titans and oh, the win, person win. who calls in oh, yeah. and gives them a win against them. No doubt. For instance, Mike in D.C., the no Washington doubt. Commanders, play the Titans. He had them beating them. Win. Um, let me take a look. Seattle Seahawks. Well, the Tennessee Titans play who? So I can make this easier uh, for me. Taking a look at the uh, Indianapolis Colts, for instance. Look at the Colts fans. Um, call them up here. Col one Colts fan had them beating the Titans not once but twice, sweeping them. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings fan that had them take on uh, the Tennessee Titans. That's a win. Uh, the Patriots are taking on the Titans this year. Even my own son and Jacob Batalone, the actor coming in here, and Ed and Carolina, all three of them have the Patriots getting a win against the Titans. <laughs> Hold on a minute. The Minnesota Miami Dolphins are taking on the Titans again. You remember the Titans, you heard Jeffrey Simmons just lament he wasn't healthy for that nationally televised game in which they came back and won shockingly. Uh, Tony and Altoona called in and said the Dolphins are going to avenge that loss. They're going to beat them. I don't, I don't, I don't see a single uh, Jacksonville Jaguar. Kevin in Jacksonville had them beating the Titans once. He did have them losing in Tennessee. Okay. So we found one, okay. literally found one. Right. Both Chargers fans who called in to play the win-loss game have them beating the Titans. <laughs> oh. Oh boy, oh boy. The Indianapolis Colts fan, as I mentioned, right? The Green Bay Packer fan at the Titans, that's a win. So on and so forth. Okay. Here's a new thing we should do. We should so have Jeffrey on. Simmons sit there and interview wow. the person <laughs> as they're going through one loss. And we'll that's see if that funny. changes how they feel about Everyone will teams. pick the Titans 17 and 0 if that's a thing. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm just pointing out again when Jeffrey Simmons is pointing out, and I mentioned your first game is gonna go be against Caleb Williams. And he basically, before I even said Caleb's name, he said painted fingernails, <laughs> right? He did, immediately. And, but again, for those who are joining us just now, uh, Jeffrey Simmons pled guilty as charged to being one of the worst smack talkers <laughs> in the NFL. Big talker. As he said that a lot of his opponents would name him as a top five smack talker in the NFL. So he's, he, he's ready, and he said... Not only is it going to be big for him because he was injured last year, didn't finish the season, so it's his first game back, but he mentioned how everyone's going to be overlooking them and talking about the Bears going and Bears being on hard knocks too. I'm just pointing it out again. I might be talking myself into something with this well no, nobody's talking about them. Look, I look at this, you don't. The look-ahead odds for week one. The Bears are four and a half point favorites. I, know, I, I get it. Super Bowl odds on the season. Only four teams have worse Super Bowl odds than the Titans. The Titans finished horribly Giants, last year. Broncos, Patriots, Panthers are they the only teams worse. Finished poorly last year, with the exception of that, you know, that Monday night game with Will Levis. And Will Levis did show some sparks that was a towards wild the game, end. But Miami kind of blew it. They were up. But their know. season was terrible. It was awful. Yeah. And they've remade themselves. But name me a wide receiver room. That um, is on par with Tennessee's, with three guys who can do it. Oh, there's several. I, I, I think okay. I think you're putting a lot right. of stock in D Hop still being the dude. Oh, stop that! I, I think we need to stop that. He's still the dude. Hmm. He's still the dude. I don't know that there's. He's still you the said dude. There's several three teams with the talent of those three receivers. I don't know, man. There's there there are some that you know. I mean, the Those, Bears themselves can the Bears with Roma doing Seattle. No, he said he said don't forget Traylon Burks too, who was again yeah, the was, guy that they drafted yeah. when they traded AJ Brown away, and the height, weight, speed comp for Traylon Burks was AJ Brown, but he hasn't played. We're still waiting. Yeah. He hasn't played like an A or a J. Yeah. <laughs> hasn't played much. Uh, I, I, I know the fact that he's like. 
Yeah, I had guys I go to college with, but when we're playing against each other. Oh, he's not like, friends. There's no jersey swap yeah. with him, I guess. He's like CM Punk. I'm here to make money. I'm not here to I make friends. Dig it. <laughs> you know? Miami, Houston. He plays the game like a WNBA player. <laughs> Well, seriously, Kendall's unfortunately, going to find that out in a few weeks. Seriously, catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.